Hey my friends, today we're going to look at selection tools in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so we're going to cover the famous Photoshop selection tools. And I have a folder with a bunch of images which I've taken from my Adobe Photoshop beginners course. Check it out, the link is below. But if not, you can just pick any images you would like. And basically the purpose of selection tools is to select a part of the image and then be able to make adjustments like changing the color, removing a background, like duplicating, resizing, and more. So let's go. So let's open up Photoshop. And what we can do is go to File Open or Open. And then we can go to desktop or wherever we've saved our file, our folder. And I'm gonna start with this image. And I'm gonna click on open. So this is the toolbar, right? And if you hover over a tool, it will tell you what it is. And the first selection tool we'll start with is the rectangular marquee tool, which is super easy. All we need to do is click on it and that's it, it's selected. And it allows us to make a selection in the shape of a rectangle. So all you have to do is click and drag and now this whole area is selected. And when you click and drag again, it deselects the previous area and replaces it with a new area. And you can just keep going, which is cool. You can hold the shift key. Shift in Photoshop means add to selection. So if you click and drag, you're adding to that selection. And in Adobe language, Alt or Option is minus, meaning it removes from a selection. So we can remove things from our selection. And then one more important key to know about selections, to deselect your selection, Control or Command D for deselection. So that's a shortcut, super easy. Okay, now we're going to look at the next tool, which is called the lasso tool, which I quite like. You can make freehand selections. It's quite nice to create a sort of collage and pretend it's been like hand cut with a scissors, with scissors, whatever. Right, so what you do is you click and you can start kind of drawing around it and it makes kind of a cool selection. And that's pretty much it. When you click away, that deselects it. So click and drag, and you have this selection. Super cool. Remember to deselect Command for Max and Control for PCs, and D for deselection. So the next tool we'll look at is the polygonal lasso tool, which I quite like. What this does is it makes selections, straight edge selections, like by connecting lines. So you can basically draw straight lines. So what you do is you can click and then click and you can literally start drawing around your building, which is pretty cool. And that's quite nice. Click, 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 and then click. And that's that, that's selected. Click, click. Moving on to the most important selection tools. And they're over here. So they're all really cool. So the newest one is Object Selection Tool. I believe it's like a year old at the time of the recording. So I'll take you through the Quick Selection Tool and then the Object Selection Tool, which is the best one, personally, I think. So let's start with the Quick Selection Tool. So the Quick Selection Tool is basically a brush. So you can see that little circle here. That's a brush. I'm just gonna zoom in a tiny bit. Command or Control plus. And the thing about the brush here is that you can adjust it here. You can adjust the size. So now, as you can see, the brush is bigger. And then you can also have three options here. You have a new selection, you have add to existing selection, or subtract for, from selection. Or you can use the shortcuts that I mentioned earlier. Shift is for add. Alt is for remove. And then let me show you my favorite shortcut, which is to resize this little brush instead of having to go there, which is kind of annoying. You can use a little shortcut and that is 
square bracket. The right one will make your brush bigger and the left one will make your brush smaller. And then you can literally start clicking and you will see that it will start selecting little pieces, which is quite nice. So I quite like that, it's quite satisfying. It stops as soon as there's an edge or a change of color or pixel. So you can also click and drag and start drawing inside your building. And that's that. Great. Now let's say you would like to remove a piece of your selection or if you zoom in, Command or Control Plus, and you're like, uh, I quite like to add this little corner maybe, you can press the left square bracket to make your brush smaller and you can just click and start adding the little bits and pieces if you really want to be a perfectionist like here as well and you can add more piece and once again control or command d to deselect we'll first move on to the most important one or the best and latest selection tool the object selection tool we can click on this and all we have to do is draw an area around the shape but as you can see this little demonstration highlights it perfectly it automatically finds and selects objects. So all we have to do is click and drag and it did a beautiful job. Okay, so let's look at the tools again with another image. So we're gonna go File, Open, and again, we can select an image and we're going to select this because it's going to be a little bit more difficult to select. So we're gonna go to Open and voila. So we're going to skip these tools because they're pretty self-explanatory and we're going to move on straight away to these selection tools, which are the main ones. Honestly, since the object selection tool got added, I no longer really need the magic wand tool personally. And the sweet spot for me would be a combination of the object selection tool along with the quick selection tool. Because most of the time, Photoshop does an amazing job with the object selection tool. But sometimes you need to kind of manually modify it and add little bits and pieces. So let's select the object selection tool and let's click and drag and start selecting our hand. And as you can see, it kind of forgot the cup. So all we need to do to add the cup to the selection is shift. Because remember, shift means add. Shift and click and voila. This is now added to the selection. And it did quite a nice job. Now, personally, sometimes when I'm not very happy with the selection, like if there's a little piece missing, I do like to go back to the quick selection tool and manually add a few bits and pieces. So that's what we'll do now. We'll go to the quick selection tool. We'll select plus or shift. And we're going to adjust our brush with the left square bracket, make it smaller. Then we're gonna click and you can also kind of paint doesn't have to be clicking you can literally click and drag as well that does a nice job and here we can add a little piece and a little bit in here just to round it up a little bit so I love combining the object selection tool with the quick selection tool it's not always necessary like I think this is pretty nicely selected and I can just click and round it up a little bit. And that's basically how you would use the quick selection tool and the object selection tool to select your object. Okay, so amazing. We learned how to select objects and parts of images, which is super cool. But all we've done so far is select parts of images. We haven't made any changes. Changes that can be made include removing backgrounds, changing colors of images, hiding or masking parts of images, resizing a part of an image, duplicating an image, and so much more. And if you want to learn all these tricks, I teach these in my Beginner's Adobe Photoshop course. So I hope you enjoyed this and see you soon.